Um, I'm making this video just because I have some uh, things I want to talk about uh, in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's not really a rant video and it's not really a asking questions video. It's just some stuff I found maybe confusing and some workarounds I found for it. So uh, first thing on my list would be planar reflections. So if you're using Lumen, which is by default uh, selected in Unreal Engine 5 when you create a new project, uh, reflections look like this. They're using the distance mesh fields and they don't look really great for stuff like this where you maybe want a clear mirror. Of course you could use ray traced I guess screen space but for some reason using Lumen overrides uh, planar reflections. So you can see here you have the planar reflection it just it makes it look kind of hazy I'm not really sure what's going on and the fire and the particles and stuff they're not showing up so if you go to your post processing and disable lumen reflections then your planar reflection should work normally if you want to have like a bathroom with uh, mirror for example I guess you would need to have uh, a post process inside of that bathroom that just disables all other reflections and you would need to kind of make sure that the transition works nice. Uh, this was something I couldn't really find any info online about so yeah here it is. Another thing I wanted to talk about so if I go here and re-enable Lumen, uh, I made this little scene here. It's just uh, like a room. On the inside, it's kind of dark. I was having some problems with the skylight. So if I were to hide this, you can see the skylight shows up in the reflection, and I didn't understand why this is happening and I don't think this is just in Unreal Engine 5 but basically the skylight how I have it set up right now that it's uh, in real time and it's movable uh, it's acting kind of like a sphere capture sphere reflection capture and it's just putting that capture on whatever reflective surface you might have. So if I were to make this resolution something like 512, you can see clearly it's like the clouds outside and stuff. It looks okay, I guess, but the problem is that we're indoors and I don't know how else to make this work as intended. So the solution for this when you have the skylight reflections in a room like this um, reflection. you just have to slap a reflection capture inside the room and that should fix it. Um, you can see these artifacts on the walls uh, that's because right now in this room it's like a low light condition and you have this uh, are these submissive actually I don't know yeah, it's just ceiling light boom yeah okay so now they're gonna be emissive so yeah the emissive material is kind of uh, make make like I don't know noisy light if it's like low light conditions. I guess uh, 
I've been watching some Unreal Engine tutorials and stuff. They're like, oh, if you make them like bigger, that should fix the issues. Yeah, so now you can see it's like less noisy here. But then it's like, mm, you cannot really even see it if it's not in screen. So uh, the best solution for this kind of stuff, just take a point light. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of bright. And just put it to whatever value you want. I'll just put it at like 0.1. Maybe it's still a bit bright. And that's still gonna show up kind of correctly. Uh, you can tweak these settings like post process and like uh, here in the shadows. Maybe you don't want shadows on this light, and then yeah, it looks a little better. But that's up to you. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so that yeah, that's kind of it, I guess. Uh, just this skylight uh, reflection stuff was weird, you just gotta put a reflection capture and the stuff with the planar reflection was a bit weird. So uh, if you were having problems with these things, uh, well now you have at least a temporary solution and if you know of a better way to deal with this uh, I would appreciate it as well. Here's Tiffany looking kind of sus but yeah right that's it thanks for watching